Hi, Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes here. Today, I'm going to put a ham, well not whole ham, but a ham into the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite on the rotisserie. So I'm going to be rotisserieing ham on the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Also going to be making up a special ham glaze to go with that. So let's get started. So whenever you want to do a ham on the rotisserie of your Power Air Fryer Oven Elite or your Power Air Fryer Oven, you'll be ready to do it too. Alright, so before I get started with the ham, I just want to show you the setup for the ham glaze so that the oven noise is not uh, disturbing while I'm doing the ham glaze part. But basically my ham glaze consists of one cup of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of allspice berries, half a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper, one ounce of honey, and this is dark honey, this is raw wildflower honey that I'm using, and a half a cup of apple juice. I'm just going to basically do that at a nice nice low simmer. Just going to get that going and just have it simmering and mix. I don't want to get it really hot because I don't want it to be too liquefied but I want it to just be uh, all the ingredients to be nicely mixed together and ready for my ham. So I'm going to keep it real low. I might even take it off the heat if I need to. Just so, like I said, it doesn't get too liquidy. But I'm just sticking the ingredients in here. And I'm just going to let them just really, really simmer on a real low, real low, 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 slow simmer. Get that in there. And pop in my pepper. Pop in my berries. Well, I'll get this all mixed up here. All right, so I'm going to leave that on and let that just simmer away nicely, and maybe even like I said, take it off. But that'll come later in the cook. So I'm going to get the ham now and show you my ham prep. And here's the star of our show, the ham. This is a Kentucky Legend, and it's got a barbecue flavor smoke it's a barbecue flavored smoke ham but I'm gonna put my glaze on top of that anyway and if you you know were to find a small ham that didn't have any preset flavor you can you know throw the glaze on there and it'll just be that glaze flavor to it but this ham is just under three pounds 2.88 pounds about three pounds of ham and so I'm gonna go ahead and get this open And you don't, like I said, you don't have to get a ham that's already pre-flavored. If you can find a small one without flavor, the glaze will set it off on its own. But uh, with these small hams, you you know, you might find what's already pre-flavored. But the glaze will still add a nice touch to it. And this one's already sliced. I'm just getting it out the package. It's already sliced. Get the packaging out the way. I'm just going to slide the spit and just press it right through that meat. Right through every piece of this sliced up ham. Right through to the end there. Slide it right on that rotisserie spit. Get it in there. I'm going to lock this rotisserie spit on this end down. I'm going to get the other rotisserie spit on. I'm going to use this hand to get the ham in there. I'm going to get my lever with this other hand to be able to get this into the rotisserie in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. Got our ham in there. And now that the ham's in there, I'm going to take one, one cup of water, pour in the bottom of that pan here. I've got one cup of water in that pan. It's able to hold that just fine. That'll give us some added moisture while it's cooking. So I'm going to close it up. And now I'm going to set the temperature for 350 degrees. Turn my rotisserie on. And I'm going to do 30 minutes. And start it up. And so the rotisserie is spinning the ham now. So now you're able to see the ham spinning in the rotisserie. 
So it's going to keep spinning for another uh, 29 minutes now. And <clears throat> when this ham is uh, basically done with its spinning and it's time to glaze it and such, I'll glaze it and then give it some more spin time. But I'll bring you back for all that good stuff in a little bit. So stay tuned. We're about halfway through the 30 minute run. I just wanted you to get a look at how it's looking here. It's got 15 minutes to go. And it's looking pretty good, it's still spinning away. So, you know, these hams, they're already pre-cooked. So you're really just heating the ham up is what you're accomplishing. Heating it up, giving it some added touches of flavor of your own. And the rotisserie, helping it baste in its juices. Just gives some real nice flavor to it. So we'll give this another 15 minutes and then we'll get to uh, putting our glaze on there. All right, so we're in the final seconds of this 30 minute run. What I'm gonna do once it goes to off, which it just did, I'm gonna open up and measure the temperature. Just to see, as I pointed out, this ham is already cooked. So we are not seeking a perfect, fully cooked temperature is our goal but we've got a uh, temperature of about 115 116 so just taking a ham glaze here and gonna remove the lid from that I'm gonna do my best to get my glaze on my ham I'm just throwing some glaze on this side of it it might even be easier if I just if I drop the ham out and just glaze it with my glaze, I can just drizzle my glaze right over the top. And get it nice and coated. Fifteen minutes to spin, so close it up, hit the rotisserie button, I'm going back down to 350 and I'm giving it 15 minutes starting it and you can see there it's back in there. Okay so our ham is in the last four minutes of what is going to be a total of 45 minutes of cooking time. Basically you want to cook 15 minutes, 20 minutes a pound and this one being 2.8 pounds, I'm going to do about 45 minutes. I will check that temperature again. Basically, next time that I bring you back, I'm going to have the camera adjusted higher. And I'm going to test the temperature. I do want to get it to at least 140 internal temp because you want to kill any pathogen, bacteria, or anything. You know, the ham, you don't know where it's been. You've got to make sure that you do heat it enough to kill anything that might be in there. Even though 110 or higher is good for when you're just trying to put your glaze on there if you're going to be cooking it longer like I did another 15 minutes here but I'm going to make sure that it's hot enough and then after I'm sure that it's hot enough I'll take it on out and we'll do our presentation and our taste testing all right so the ham is just about done as it comes around once it stops or if it gets to the good point I'm just going to stop it and just uh, do that temperature test like I said I want something over 140 or more to uh, be my temperature so I'm going to stop it here because I want to get that uh, probe right in there real quick very hot in there and temperature as you can see is 150 well 156 so we're good 157 which is good for a pre-cooked ham we're in good shape so I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, big gloves and get this out of here, put it over here on this plate. But there's our total pre-cooked ham, 2.88 pounds, looking good. Going to give it a little bit of time to cool and then I'm going to get, uh, well let me, even before then, I'm going to go get some gloves to get some off now. Just, I'll just do the plating now. Alright, so I've got my bigger gloves on now. Gonna just set that there. Try and get 
the rotisserie spit off on the side here, the side with the big slices. You can see my glaze is nice and cooked in. Alright, so I'm going to just take some pieces off here of the plate. Get myself, just give myself, I'm going to get the furthest end slice and a slice further in the interior there. I'm just going to cut these for easier chewing. This one's kind of, you know, crunchy because it was on the end. That wing cut. All right. Just gonna cut this one. Let me get the camera adjusted, and we'll do our taste testing. All right. So let's test the ham here. I'm gonna get one of those inside pieces first. Give it a fair shot. That's good, fairly moist. Gonna get one of these exterior pieces that you know has a lot of the glaze cooked in. All right, that exterior piece, of course kind of crunchy, you know, except for those few little exterior pieces. Nice and moist, tastes good, glaze tastes nice on it, nice on it. But this is how you do a ham, rotisserie style, in the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. So, you can check out this and other nice recipes on SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com. I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel please, and good eating.